Yo, how's it going guys? Matthew Maz Fishing here and welcome back to another video. Thanks to all of you for tuning in. If you guys want to support the channel, you can hit that subscribe button down below. I really appreciate it. It goes a long way. And like the video if you enjoy it. In today's video, we are going to be heading out to Lake Simcoe, but this time we're going to be doing something a little bit different. So it's mid-February. Uh, fishing's been pretty tough lately, but we're going to try this anyways. So if you guys know me, you'll know that recently I released a new bait called the goby gummy and that's the bait right there as you can see it has a goby style of profile it's a soft plastic bait there's a couple fins on the back there a nice fat head and then it also has kind of a spade shaped tail so when i came up with the name for the bait it was really inspired by you guys i posted a couple pictures on instagram and i kept getting messages from a bunch of people saying that the baits that i made looked like candy so it got me thinking a little bit and I figure if I can catch fish on a bait that looks like candy, why can't I do it on the real thing? So I made a trip out to my local grocery store and I picked up a little bit of candy. So we have some of these. <laughs> They're like a Haribo twin snake. I think it's like two little snake types of things that are attached. There's like a one sweet and one sour. Uh, I think these honestly replicate kind of what a goby profile looks like. The color's obviously not there. I don't think there's any gobies that are like a, a bright yellow or a bright green or, or a pink. Uh, but I don't see why this wouldn't work. It has a very similar profile to what a goby would be like. And honestly, I think I can get a fish to eat it if there's an aggressive fish that comes in. Things have changed a little bit since the last clip. We are out on the ice, set up. It's about 8.40 a.m. We just got set up, a little bit of a late start, but it is what it is. We're sitting in 23 feet of water. I'm not gonna lie, fishing's been tough this year. It's, it's mid-February right now. Uh, we're facing that kind of February blast where the fish don't seem to be moving too much, but we're gonna give this a shot anyways. We're gonna give it an honest effort today and see if we can get a couple of fish to bite some candy. So I think what we're gonna do first is we are gonna give these Haribo or however you say it, <laughs> twin snakes a shot. We got the half sweet, half sour side. So one of us is gonna take the sweet side, one's gonna take the sour. They're like hooked together, so I'm gonna cut it in half and uh, we'll see how that goes. So that's the rig we're running. Honestly, really, really hard to thread candy onto a net head. It really doesn't wanna go through, so you kind of have to like rip it on. Uh, it's not gonna have much action because obviously that doesn't move very much, but it should work. Let's see. I have to say, for a piece of candy, the action isn't absolutely horrible either. So this definitely increases my confidence a little bit, just watching it in the water there like that. Oh no. Yeah, in the States. Where are they, Florida? You guys are back out here again. I don't know. Catch yeah. lives. Fish on the screen. There it is! On the candy, guys! Sweet! With the camera? Uh, yeah, let's just get the fish up first. It's tugging good, it feels pretty heavy. I think it's just a whitey, but it could be a Laker. Oh, maybe it's a Laker, guys! Camera. We might have a Laker! Oh, on the candy bite! Candy! <laughs> Sour gummy worm for the win! We're sitting in 34 feet of water, out pretty deep. My leader's just coming in. Oh yeah, that's a big one. Oh, it's a whitey. It's just a big whitey. Tanker. Look at that! On the gummy worm! Holy! He's a tank. Yeah, it's a big whitey. Yeah, I use both hands, boy. Biggin'! Look at that! Little piece of candy. Caught me that whitey right there. Not bad. Look at that, guys. First fish of the day. Caught that on one of those Haribo little sour gummy worms. A nice whitey. It just goes to show technique is so important in how you catch these fish. 
they're willing to eat. You just got to give it to them just the way they want to see it. We're going to uh, keep on going. Hopefully we can get a few more fish today. But pretty wicked. A tank. Good size whitey. Absolutely smoked it. So it's about 1.30 guys. I'm just outside the hut. I just caught that fish. It's been a very slow day so far. We made a move to this spot at probably about 12.40 or so. Uh, and we're finally seeing a little bit more marks and a little bit more action. So we're going to keep on trying here. Uh, it's not easy to catch a fish on a piece of candy. But we're getting it done. We're trying hard here. I really want to try to make this video because I knew it would work. And I knew I'd be able to do it. So we're going to see if we can get a couple more and ice some more fish. There's a fish on me, guys. There it is, there number two. Good job. That one came and hit pretty quick. Didn't look at it twice. Oh, feels like a whitey. With the uh, camera? Matt? Sure. <clears throat> also on the gummy, the exact same one I had for that last fish. It's like an orange color. Give me a good little fight there. Having a little fun with the old whitey. It's about three o'clock now. Oh, these fish are feisty out here. It's about three o'clock and uh, fishing hasn't been fast. It's been pretty slow to be honest. But look at that. <laughs> little candy. It's actually right outside of the mouth. So I think he swiped at it, but he actually missed. Uh, but pretty darn cool to see. It's literally a gummy worm. And that is a feisty whitefish. <laughs> Absolutely wild, guys. Again, just kind of reinforcing the fact that Baits are important, but how you work the bait and the presentation that you give is honestly so key to catching these fish. Uh, it's been a pretty tough day. We haven't marked too, too many, but got a couple of them to eat, which is pretty cool. Ooh, decide to step outside and take a little bit of a breather from the hut for a second. It is so nice outside. There is like zero wind. We haven't had like the wind pulls, the heater's not on. It's really nice out. I'm, I'm comfortable standing outside. So I think, you know, there's no better time than now to uh, throw the drone up and do a couple of quick shots for you. So enjoy this little drone shot montage. Decent mark. There you go. Nice. Real, 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 real. There you I go. Good job. I get the fish. Pops is big. hooked up too. It doesn't feel big. I was on the Gobi gummy. And Dad's hooked up. I had to give up the gummy and go with the Gobi gummy. <laughs> right to the hole. Nice little whitey. 415. We're getting onto that night bite. I have to say, I do think the best part about fishing with candy is if the fish aren't biting, you still get a little snack. Can't complain too much. Well guys, we are going to just about end it on that note. It's 5.30, it's about to get dark here, and uh, it was a really awesome day on the lake. I managed to put two white fish on the ice using literally candy, which is pretty cool. It was a very tough bite today. We uh, didn't land as many fish as we'd like, but sometimes that's just the way fishing is. My dad also managed to get one on the Gobi Gummy. It was a super beautiful day out here. Uh, we had a ton of fun, and I'm gonna just about call it on that note. If you guys enjoyed this video, make sure you go down below, subscribe to my channel, and make sure you like the video. That really helps me a lot and goes a long way in supporting the channel. Thank you guys so much for watching and I hope you have a great day.